Welcome to Let's Play Solitaire. On a little bit of a win streak here. Those, this is a streaky game, and it looks like there's nothing we can play in the first setup here. I'd like to save these as insurance, but this is tempting. I'm going to hold off on that one. But the thinking is there's 24 cards here. The more one can maneuver these cards around, because they come in clumps of three, the better your chances are of finding a critical card. That's the thinking, anyway. Uh, it's not 100%, but more often than not, it'll help. And then we play the ones out of the back of the draw pile. So yeah, basically back of the draw pile first, and then work your way to the front. Obviously, we want to open up something. we got two kings here, so that's going to be a priority as well. Let's see here. we got the ace we can play. That's good. Now, we did move this queen... So that takes out one option here. Red Jack's not going to help. Do we have a black three? Oh, interesting. We may not be able to get through this. Three of spades we can't play. We can play the six of spades. We won't be able to move the five of diamonds, though, will we? Unless we're going to have to play the six of clubs. No, we can play the... I think we have to play the six of clubs and then play the eight of spades and then play the five of diamonds. Normally, I would say we play for the six of spades right here next round, but I think we have to play it differently. There was a six in there, wasn't there? Red six. There's a red six as well. I think... Yeah, because normally I play this, but I, I feel like... I have to play this one here because, or actually, it'd be the same. It'd be the same thing, I guess. So we should play that because we'll drop the eight next and the five of diamonds. And I think it's it's safe to play this. You typically want to play the ones early on. Typically, there are a few exceptions to that, but most of the time, that's what you want to play, just to give yourself more chances to solve this. So we got the eight there. Next time around, we'll have the five, and we got two kings we can play. So let's see. This one goes nowhere. And this one goes hopefully somewhere. That's interesting. I think there's a red six. Oh, that's a red five. We're not going to play this red six, then. We'll play this one. That'll be higher priority. We need to get one of these columns open again. That jack is good because we got a couple black tens somewhere in here, I think. I think we can safely play that. Okay. We'll get the five of diamonds dropping. I'm going to play this jack here. Well, let's see. I th we could have a jack early on. We might want to do that one instead. I'm going to hold off on this 10. I like to save it as insurance. I guess we will play the five here. So we can always come back and play this jack. We got two tens to play. You know what? Let's leave this jack here and let's just play that jack. Normally I like to play out of the front, toward the front of the draw pile where the, those cards, if there's two of the same. But that doesn't do a lot there, does it? I mean, it could. We still have this to move a king if we need to. Probably going to be going for the other red nine, but let's just see here. There was a king in play there? No. Yeah, there was. Okay. Okay. We gotta move two cards to get to the other jacks. So we'll play this here. Now this becomes tricky. I feel like I wanna play the diamond, but I shouldn't play the diamond because I can get to other cards, so I don't know. Uh, this 10 could be another important card. Wow. Interesting. Hmm. 
No, I, f I feel like I have to drop this jack here. We can oh we can get the diamond because we play the jack and the ten. Yeah, managing managing the draw pile very critical to having a shot at these games. Um, and again, I like to play out of the back. Did I just leave a four there? I left a four there. Let's put that. So yeah, back of the draw pile first. Alright, let's see. Can we play? We can't play the three. So we're going all in on this. With, of course, the diamond. We'll get to the four diamonds, too. So let's see what's under the ten. It should be something we can play. I think we'll go here, just in case. I think we're going to get there. I think that's going to get us there. Yeah, four, five, and... Got there! Pretty cool, got that one done. Anyway, as always, if you're looking for more tips or games like this, uh, there's some playlists I'll put a, on this channel. I'll put a link in the description for those. Thanks for watching.